still for the aircraft, the main uh, flying component or the lift uh, component, you, have, you, you need to uh, have the lift uh, uh, devices. Mainly are they, it's are they all a single engine aircraft? I think they are all single engine, <coughs> yes. Uh, for the uh, small light uh, fighter jet is uh, basically like a F-16, so also a single engine. Mm. Uh, I think the wing is the uh, the main. I think it should be the main difference uh, mm. between between them. Uh, of course, you can see the shape, uh, but what you didn't see mm -hmm. is really the profile of the wing. Uh, that's uh, a sort of a key technology. And what does the profile of the wind decide? Well, it decides the lift, the lift, and, and also the jack. Mm. Because the, you, you, when, when you design the aircraft, the lift, jack, uh, coefficients are the key. Mm. Mm. So you, you want to have a high lift uh, aircraft, also low jack. No jack mm. means uh, you, you can fly longer mm. with and faster. less fuel, faster, mm. less, less fuel. <laughs> mm. Less fuel. Yeah. So uh, sort of the, the lift to jack uh, coefficient, the lift to jack ratio is a very important parameter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have just seen the uh, JF-17 Thunder jet planes about to take off to join in the air show. As we know, a Pakistani Air Force contingent has made its first debut at the air show here in China. And earlier, our correspondent Daniel Khan took a closer look at the team before it left for China. Let's take a look. This is for the first time that China made K-8 aircraft and GF-17 Thunder Fighter, a co-production of Pakistan and China, will be flying in the air show. Officially formed on 17th August 1972, the Sherdils is the aerobatic display team of the Pakistan Air Force Academy, based at PAF Academy, Risalpur. The team used to fly the T-37 Tweety Bird and is composed of instructors of the academy. After 37 years of performances by T-37, the K-8 aircraft took over the mantle of Sherdils. Chinese Air Force is the greatest friend of Pakistan Air Force. Beginning soon after the 1965 Indo-War conflict, this friendship saw the induction of F-6, F-7 and F-T-5 fighter aircraft in the PF inventory. The hallmark of this friendship came with the co-production of K-8 jet aircraft for the training in PF Academy and the latest modern state-of-the-art JF-17 light combat aircraft. The aerobatic team will fly in a nine-ship formation and deliver overhead maneuver performances, including run-in loops, wing overturns and barrel rolls. A team of 140 people have reached China. The team members include pilots, technicians and ground support staff. According to senior officials at the Pakistan Air Force, the Sherdil Formation aerobatic team is expected to give an outstanding performance in the show. Three JF-17 Thunder Fighter aircraft would also be on aerial as well as static display at the exhibition. It is a matter of great pride and honor for Pakistan that instead of sending a usual customary one team to an aerobatic show, we are sending two teams. That is the PF Academy K-8 Sherdils comprising nine aircraft and a section of JF-17 aircraft. World-famous exhibitors including Boeing, Airbus, Honeywell, Rolls-Royce will also be participating in the exhibition. Analysts say Pakistan's participation in Airshow China reflects the fraternal mutual benefit between China and Pakistan's all-weather friendship, not only for Pakistan to provide a display of air power platforms, but also to the Chinese people to learn more about Pakistan Air Force. Daniel Khan, CCTV, Islamabad. Well, that's our reporter Daniel Khan talking about the JF-17 Thunder Jets that has been joining the Pakistani Air Force. We have been told that the Chinese J-10 formation has done its job and now they have landed. The four J-10 fighter jets have landed. Uh, because of the uh, foggy weather, they have not done as many movements as they wish but they have performed some of the stunts including a sudden ascent and descent and also flying in formation for us.